I started farming myself about 10 years ago with my own herd number. And um, before that, I was working with my father all the time. Um, myself and Chris were married six years, so we started building up the herd. Kind of, we're just getting to a place where we could see an end game or had a plan. But it all started um, on the Wednesday evening, actually. The Wednesday evening, we were up on the farm at nine o'clock. We tipped up a load of turf in the shed, myself and my father, and um, went out the avenue, and everything seemed to be fine. Um, the next day then, I wasn't up there till quarter past one. I'd worked that morning, I went up at quarter past one to bale silage. Uh, went up to the gate and got out of the tractor to open the gate and the, could see the lock was cut, or bolt cutters, we think. But um, straight away, the sinking feeling, something was amiss. So I opened the gate and drove in the avenue a little bit and I says, I seen, I'd seen a neighbour washing his yard beside. So I rang him and he followed me in the jeep. Um, so went in along the avenue, there was one, one bullock along the avenue, kind of knew he shouldn't have been there. Um, passed by him, went on to the next field then, and where there was, should have been cows and calves, and the field was empty. Went on another bit on the avenue, and there was three bullocks lying in the field, chewing their cud, and they turned out to be all the cattle were left. There was four cattle left on the farm. Um, went up to the yard then, and just seen nothing, seen tracks of lorries backed into a pin where they must have loaded them. Um, seen the gate where the sheep were was opened and the sheep were gone as well. Just didn't know what to make of the whole situation, it was just unreal. I hopped in a jeep and drove around all the fields in case they might have been lying in ditches or in drain or um, drove around and walked through a couple of them but there was no sign of anything. There was 40 year to year and a half old cattle, uh, about 22 year old cattle and nine cows, nine calves. The nine cows are heavy in calf, there's nine calves then, they were just coming up about, be weighing probably before the end of the month, end of this month. There was, uh, the, out of the 40, there was 12 black white calves that we reared and everything else then was our own breed. And all the heifers were planned to be kept for replacements or a majority of them anyhow. I didn't know what to think, I really didn't know what to think. Just pure shock when I went in, I, I, still, I, still, can't, I still can't believe it. So I, can't, I still don't know what. I still, we're, I think the two of us were just going to presumption, we're going to get them back. That's, we kind of hanging on to that, be it naive or not, but that's what we're hanging on to. Um, if we were to bring the cattle home, for instance, it would take us the best part of the day. Like, there's no way someone walked in off the street to do it. Absolutely no doubt. One, it was too big of an operation to have been carried out without a forethought, you know. Um, and, and two, you know, they would have certainly had to have known our comings and goings to have been able to get in and do this. And three, they, they, like, they had to know what transport to bring to carry them how many cattle and the layout of the fields too, like, you know, if you didn't know the layout of the, the, of the, the fencing and the gate system, and to do it efficiently, you'd have to know what was where, you know, and we assumed that they didn't hang around. Like, the emotional loss is big as well for us, I mean, we're, you know, like, there's only the two of us doing the cattle, and, and we started out this together when we got married, and, you know, we have uh, bred them and calved them and reared them, and we know them really well, and their markings and personalities, and we'd be very fond of them, and a lot of them would have names, and they'd be pets, and, you know, there's a lot in it. You know, this, the loss of, of livelihood is, is huge and devastating and the potential financial implications are, are, are bad and setting back the breeding plan is, is terrible for us as well. But on top of that then as well, you know, is the fact that you know, we just really love our cattle and we really want them back. Find Our Stock started it pretty shortly thereafter. A girl set it up for us and uh, for us really it was about spreading awareness. One, with the hope of making life as difficult as possible for whoever has the cattle to move them on. You know, the more people who are aware, the harder that is. And two, is to, to highlight the fact that this is happening and no farmer is safe. Um, and it's, it's done very well. We have uh, 16,000 followers on the page. A huge number of people have contacted us, supported us and you know, it's, it's been great for getting the awareness out there. We'd just like to say thank you so much to everybody who has helped us, support us, sent messages, um, people who've offered to donate stock, um, forage and haulage and it's just been overwhelming. We're, we're, we're really, uh, really don't have words to say how much it means to us, um, the help and support that we've had. Um, thank you so much. Thank you.
Yeah, we'd like to make an appeal from anyone that has information on this um, to either contact Kilbegan Garda Station, at Lone Garda Station, or Crime Stoppers. So our whole plan has gone into array. We don't know where we stand. We have a farm up there now, rented, and not an animal standing on it. At the end of the day, we know that this has happened to us, and we know that because it has happened, it can happen again, and it could happen to anybody. Like it's hard not to, you know, to feel uh, nervous and upset about it. It really is, you know. But in in my view, definitely we'd be more cautious. But it's not going to stop us going on. We're going to build up. We're going to get back to what we were. We're going to. Yeah, we have to. We're, we're 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 going to keep going.